Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mike McCarville. This is episode 109, and in this episode, we're going to do the Atlantic Cable Mine. This is a Wild West Models kit. So, uh, the black and white photo shows you what the mine looks like. It's basically that, that center structure. The head frame sticks up out of the mine building itself. There's a trestle and an ore bin that runs off to the right. Uh, we're going to model all that. That's part of the kit. Now, the kit actually sits on top of a, uh, a portion of the mine, sits on top of a trestle that joins the, the mine building to the boiler house and hoist house to the left. So the trestle is not part of it, and the, uh, the boiler house and hoist house, that's actually a separate kit. So, but in order to expand this someday in the future, I wanted to do all of that construction now. So we're actually going to lift the mine up on top of the trestle to the left, and uh, we're going to enhance some of the other features of it. Some of the stuff we're going to add, we're going to add nut bolt washers. We're going to add the 30 foot, 33 foot trestle that runs to the left towards the uh, um, uh, hoist house. And uh, we're going to put extra bracing on the ore bin that sits on the right to match the prototype photos. Um, let's see what else we're going to do. Oh, we can't do it unless we were to actually recreate this scene. So we re want to recreate this scene, and there's a ore cart that actually comes in the kit, and you can see there's a guy standing next to it. So we're going to add that. We're going to add the uh, ore cart. It comes with it. Uh, we're going to add the guy, and we're going to paint him up so it looks like him. And uh, um, let's see what else we're going to add. Oh, there is an option for board and batten siding on this. Or you can just do regular plank siding if you wanted to. Um, since close-up photos on this, I uh, reached out to the guys from the Friends of Cumbers and Toltec who allowed me to use this black and white photo from their library. And once again, thanks guys, I appreciate it. I'll leave a link below to, uh, to their website. Um, but when I asked them to kind of zoom in if they could help me a little bit and tell me if it really is board and batten siding because the, uh, the resolution that I was using isn't really all that good. It's board and batten. So we're going to add each of the each of the battens, which is basically the thin strip of wood in between two planks on the siding. So it's it's supposed to cover those joints. So we're going to add battens all the way around it, and the kit comes with this and gives you this option. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. Like all the other kits, uh, very very similar. Uh, we're going to use um, tight bond three glue. Not quite extensively, but almost extensively. And then uh, super glue, ACC cement as well. Um, also, uh, test fit and sand. Everything that you do before you glue it, trust me, you will run into a lot less problems. Um, and then I'm using uh, Hunterline Cordovan Brown for the exterior staining and SMS Solutions New Timber for the interior walls. Um, that is actually the Smoke and Mirror Solution, which is actually the Wild West uh, coloring uh, that I'm using for the interior. Uh, also, other than that, the uh, rust on the roof is basically a mix of rust colored paint and pan pastels and uh, dull coat just for protecting. So um, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to run through each of the construction steps one at a time and just put a little note in there to kind of explain what you're looking at. Well, then when we get done uh, with the construction phase, we'll do kind of a quick once around and you can uh, examine the uh, finished product and then we'll wrap it up.
Okay, guys, that's going to do it. That's it for episode 109. Uh, we um, had a good time doing this. I really enjoyed the, this project. Um, I definitely put a lot more into it than uh, it, just the basic kit. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show uh, what you can do to a kit if you really want to expand some of the options. Um, once again, I want to thank uh, the friends at Cumbers and Toltec for allowing me to use their uh, vintage photograph. Uh, I want to thank uh, Wild West Models for allowing me to feature this product. And um, other than that, check the uh, links below for the uh, YouTube channel and the Facebook group. And we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks, you guys. See ya.